All right, we're here at the reception, clubhouse main entrance. Hello, I'm back. So we're here at the uh, Northview Golf and Country Club with the reception of my niece's wedding. It's a nice course in here. It's beautiful. It's six o'clock in the evening, but it's still nice and um, looks like still kind of sunny and cloudy here. But you know, it's cold. Anyways. You will see how the Canadian party will do. Uh, let's watch them. All right, follow me. Here's our setting. Where are we here? Hello.
two for Lady String. Sure. Yeah, and then red wine. All right, which one we got? Merlot and Cabernet? Uh, Cabernet. Okay. Oh, same thing, uh, one more for... Yes, please. Same thing as hers. little sister Irene and the maid of honor but you can call me Arlene too because my parents have been calling you know Arlene Irene interchangeably for as long as I can remember growing up I always looked up to my sister whether it was wanting to dress like her or thinking I was the coolest person when I didn't hang out with her and her friends we were often mistaken as twins um, <laughs> Um, on a vacation one day, though, uh, we were in the Philippines. Someone called us twins, and they were like, Mas team ito. <laughs> Which means, this one's darker. <laughs> the love for my sister has always been something I've admired about her. Even though it may be tough love sometimes, because you know how savage she gets. <laughs> Like the times where she and I shared rooms for as long as I can remember. Every night, she'd turn on music and make me listen to it. And it wasn't even soothing music, it was some like cha-cha, fast, you know, you look kind of music. What? <laughs> like not soothing at all. Why? Or times when I needed like her honest opinion, and she'd give me her honest opinion. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I've, never, I've never met someone as strong as passionate as my sister. When she wanted something, she'd go get it. I remember when she turned 16, she'd go to the mall and literally pass out her resume store to store until she landed a job and bought her first car at the age of 16, and that was so inspiring to me. One thing about my sister that I want everyone to know is that she never had a boyfriend before Archie. I like to say Archie's Arlen's one and only. Arlen and Archie met in 10th grade. My sister and I were new to our high school, Guilford Park, and we were known as the new girls. All I remember is Arlene coming home one day and telling me that some guy followed her uh, <laughs> Terry Fox run. <laughs> Archie was very persistent in getting to know Arlene. He'd literally walk us home every day and I'd like third wheel. Um, yeah, he'd stop before my house, just before my parents would see. Because <laughs> my parents were really, really strict. Archie. Thank you for being the best person for my sister and for taking such good care of her. You're stuck with us forever now. Good luck. <laughs> you could probably take a guess at what my friendship with Archie was like. Lots of laughing, mostly roasting, and the occasional arguments. Your typical romance. Except, he did all... Let's make a toast. Can everyone raise their glass? May your marriage be pure and everlasting, and may your love grow in an unmeasurable way. Cheers. So, good evening, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chantel, and I'm Arlen's cousin. Presented earlier. Arlen's dad, Arnold, and my dad, Hector, are brothers. So, some contacts. To my wedding, Arlene, and had always and what had always been an addition to our big family, Archie. I wish you both a lifetime of love, with understanding, patience, and blessings. We love you. Toast to the newlyweds. 
as well. You know, I was around. Um, with that being said, uh, I wish you both both a very loving, successful and fulfilling marriage, Ate and Kiarchi. The wakings and endings of your days will be faced together. And the grass will always be greener on the side that you choose to water it. Thank you. I love you both. Cheers. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 